हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम क्लास ट्वेल्थ मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर प्रोबेबिलिटी एंड दिस टॉपिक इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन थियोरम ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी लेट स्टार्ट वट इज मल्टीप्लीकेशन थियोरम एंड वाई इट इज यूज मल्टीप्लीकेशन थियोरम इज यूज इन प्रोबेबिलिटी वेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ साइमल्टेनियस अक्रेंस ऑफ टू और मोर देन टू इवेंट्स वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दैट बट फर्स्ट लेट्स राइट सम इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इट इज यूज इट इज यूज वेन वेन वी हैव टू फाइंड वेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी द प्रोबेबिलिटी ability of simultaneous occurrence of two or more than two even राइट ओके इवेंट्स बोथ द इवेंट्स लेट्स लेट्स से वी आर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट जस्ट टू इवेंट्स देन वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट हैपेंस इफ नंबर ऑफ इवेंट्स आर थ्री सो इफ इफ देर आर टू इवेंट्स देन बोथ द इवेंट्स और ऑल द इवेंट्स शुड बी द रिजल्ट ऑफ सेम एक्सपेरिमेंट शुड बी the result of result of same experiment that is sample space sample space is same in both the cases sample space is same in both the cases for example let's say there are two events e and f right there are two events from an experiment and those two event we will take example don't worry there are two events e and f from same experiment and you all have studied the chapter sets so what is the meaning of e intersection f e intersection f means e and f both so if we if we write probability of e intersection f then probability of e intersection f means what it is the probability when e and f both occur together so this is what we are going to find in multiplication theorem of probability so how we are going to find this before multiplication theorem of probability we all have studied conditional probability which says the conditional probability of e when f has already occurred written as this is simply p e intersection f divided by p f right so what will be the value of what will be what will be the value of p in e intersection f from this value of p in e intersection f is simply pf into conditional probability of e by f right so this result this result is called the multiplication theorem of probability using this formula we can find the probability of the simultaneous occurrence of e and f both this is the form right this is the formula of multiplication probability theorem of multiplication probability also we all know that probability since <coughs> since this intersection function in sets is commutative which means e intersection f is equal to f intersection e so if we write 
probability then it is also equal so probability of e intersection f is equal to the probability of f intersection e so if we write it as this if we write it as this p f by e then we are going to write it as p f intersection e divided by p e which gives p f intersection e p f intersection e as p e p e into p conditional probability of f by e right this is also possible so from this discussion since we know that this and this are equal so the left hand side of these two expressions is equal this is equal to this so right hand side should also be equal so we can write we can write that pf into p e by f is equal to p e into p f by e right just remember one thing this p e intersection f p e intersection f which is the main thing here this is what we are going to find and the formula for this is this or this this can also be written as just p e f without the intersection sign both have same meaning now let's take example this example is from ncrt an arm contains 10 black and 5 white balls two balls are drawn from the urn one after the other without replacement what is the probability that both drawn balls are black so so this question is asking the probability the simultaneous probability of two events both drawn balls are black so now we are going to use the multiplication theorem of probability now let's say the one event is e and the second event is f e is what e is suppose first first drawn first drawn ball is black suppose this is the event and f event is that first not first first no second first ho gaya second second drawn ball is black Hana? so we have to find what we have to find we have to find the probability of e intersection f which means both the drawn balls are red first ball is also black sorry not red first ball is also black and second ball is also black so what is the formula formula for this is p e into p e by f p e into p e by f okay what is p e what is p e p e is p e is first drawn ball is black how many black balls were there there were 10 black balls or how many total balls were there in the urn 10 plus 5 15 so we can say that p e is 10 divided by 15 which is simply 2 divided by 3 okay what is p e by f now this is the probability of e when f has already occurred sorry ulta likh diya if this is p e then it should be p f by e right according to the formula so what is p f by e what is p f by e what is p f by e it means the conditional probability of occurrence of f when e has already occurred right that means the probability of drawing 
second ball black when the first ball is black and the balls are drawn without replacement so the first ball which we have drawn from the un is not back into the un so how many balls are left now there were total 15 balls and when one black ball is taken out so 14 balls are left and out of those 14 balls nine balls are black because we drew first black ball in first case right so total nine black balls are left so this probability is nine divided by 40 okay so now we will apply this formula for to find the probability of e intersection f and this formula says that it is pe which is 2 by 3 into conditional probability which is 9 by 14 now this is 3 and this is 7 so the final answer is so the final answer is 3 divided by 7 right okay now we will see what happens when the number of events are 3 for 3 events let's let let us say the events are e f and g so for 3 events we can write e intersection f intersection g which can also be written as p e f g and according to the theorem of multiplication of probability we can say it is probability of e into probability of f when e has already occurred into probability of g when e and f both have already occurred right okay now let's read the question three cards are drawn successively without replacement from a pack of 52 well shuffled cards what is the probability that first two cards are kings and the third card drawn is an ace there is a well shuffled deck of 52 cards and we are drawing three cards one by one without replacement first card first card is king second card is also king and the third card is an ace now let's take these events as k1 k1 is first card first card is king event k2 is second card second card is king and third card should be ace let's take the third event as a third card third card should be should be an ace third card should be an ace okay we have to find what we have to find k1 k2 a which is according to the formula probability of k1 into probability of k1 sorry k2 when k1 has already occurred into probability of a when k1 k2 both have already occurred so now let's put the values what is the probability of drawing first card which is a king how many kings are there in pack of 52 cards? There are 4 kings. So drawing a king from 52 cards should be, probability should be 54 by 52. Right? Okay. Now this event is what? One king has already been drawn. One king card, not king. <laughs> One king card has already been drawn and after drawing that king card, we are again supposed to draw one more king card. Now if, if we have already drawn one king, from 52 cards there are three kings left right and how many total cards are left because there were 52 cards and one king has already been drawn so 51 cards are left so this is 3 divided by 51 into now two kings have already been drawn so the total number of cards which are left are 50 and from those 50 cards 
we are going to draw an ace so how many aces are there there are total four aces so all those four aces are there in the deck so uh, out of 50 cards if we draw one ace the probability is 4 by 50 right so if we multiply all these what we are going to get we are going to get as uh, okay we can cancel these this is 2 and this is this is 2 this is 25 this is again 2 this is 26 and this is 13 so in numerator we have 6 and in denominator we have 13 into 51 into 25 okay so 51 into 20 not 26 51 into 13 663 into uh, 51 into 13 into 25 one six five seven five so it is six divided by one six five seven five okay we can cancel it by three also we should have done it earlier that's okay so it is three twos are six and three uh, five five two five okay so the final answer is two divided by now this is an odd number so it is not in the table of two so we can write it as two divided by five five two five so this is the probability of drawing first two cards as kings and third card as an ace so this was the multiplication theorem of probability and two very important examples based on this so i hope you have understood all these concepts. I'll meet you in the next lecture. Till then, all the very best.